Haribo. Once my friend Haribo came to school crying. We said, what's the matter? What's the matter? And he just fell over and died. And then he started dying again. He was a nice man, Haribo. He had a shed with tins full of screws in it. Maybe Haribo gave Haribo's granddad a red shoehorn. Dave said, I'm really glad my mum called me Dave. I said, why is that? He said, because his granddad had died. So he didn't know what to say. So everyone said, shh. And Dave said, I was only saying. And he just fell over and cried. And then he started crying again. And I said, <laughs> hard luck, Dave. Always knew you were a bit weak. Rog said, I got a pair of trainers for Christmas and you can get ones without laces. And we all said, yeah, no, that's right. Rog, you can. Any other day we'd have said, would you believe it, the little pig? But that day we said, yeah, my hamster died as well. Box. I made a box with a lid and locks big enough for me to sit in. I took the chance, climbed in and bolted the lid above me and I fiddle. I think you know what I mean. What? I make little rattly noises with the handle and the key. Fiddle diddle. Oh. Riddle diddle. I lock it. I unlock it. I lock it. I try to unlock it. Uh, Brian, um, I can't unlock the door. Brian, um, I, the key stuck. He stops. Suddenly he looks pleased and he settles down with his book and waits. Meanwhile, I've got big bother. They're going to come back and find me here and I've got out of bed and I've come in the box. I think you know. No! Anyway, I've locked the door and it's really late and it's all my fault. I try and I try and I get that key to work. Fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle, fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle. For three hours I'm at it and all the time my brother is not taking any notice of Michael. Oh no, this is horrible. And then I fell over and died. My brother said, oh, you've gone all quiet. <laughs>